Welcome to One Under. I'm your host, Adon. And in today's dialogue, I want to talk about, I don't know if you've ever been on the street and, or let's say on the highway, and you've been pulled over by our state trooper. When they get to you, by the time they get to you, you're already nervous and scared. Not because you know they're going to give you a ticket or anything like that, but because of the presence the uniform, the appearance. And in today's episode or dialogue, I want to talk about investment. Investment in yourself. Because I see, <laughs> I don't know if you ever encounter those type of, let's say any type of law enforcement that the uniform is supposed to be great and it look like khaki because it's all dirt, dirty, or... <laughs> When it's supposed to be blue, it look like purple because the person wearing it doesn't care about that. So today I want to talk about that. Why are you supposed to invest in yourself? Whether it's your uniform, whether it's knowledge, skill, training, whether it's um, appearance, something that had to do with yourself and with your person, with your with your duty so i don't understand why a lot of people you know they go out there to work or whatever especially those that are supposed to be wearing uniform and in instance in some cases they look like they work in a shop or something like that like they mechanic you know meanwhile you see others that just for the fact you know just because when they approach you <laughs> the way they approach you or what you see is, you know, that already telling you that they mean business. So, you know, a lot of people need to invest in themselves, whether it's your uniform, your shoes, whether it's knowledge, skill, training, etc. And I'm going to start with the uniform because that's one of the things that pretty much got my attention when I'm out there. And I see people, you know, I've I, I seen a lot of people that, to be honest with you, I don't even know how others are going to respect them, the way they carry themselves, because they look kind of weird. They look weird and, and, and sorry for the word, but they look dirty as well. You know, like some people, they don't even shave. And that's bad, you know, because... You pretty much are repress, uh, representative of your agency, whichever agency you work for, you know, as a law enforcement or as a corporate or any other type of company, because that doesn't only happen in the law enforcement world, because I, sp I, I talk about law enforcement pretty much. This whole channel is about law enforcement, but some people need to invest in themselves, you know. There's a lot of training that people don't even take advantage of those. There's a lot of, um, I would say, um, there's a lot of thing out there for people to invest. You're not investing in your agency. You're investing in yourself. Everything you know or every knowledge that you acquire for yourself is for you. It's not for anybody else. And the good thing about it is that those things you could apply out there when you at work, when you're in your office, when you're in your command, when you're on the street, when you're in any job situation or whatever. So learn how to invest in yourself. Appearance is the number one. You know, when you go to places and they see how you carry yourself, whatever you're wearing, how you wear that, whatever it is, if it's your uniform or anything like that, they know what you mean just because your present shoes, shiny shoes, man. I'm telling you, when you see those state trooper with that cowboy hat and all that, they look nice. They look spectacular. They look like you getting it. <laughs> so <laughs> that's number one. Number two, you know, I've seen videos on YouTube, especially about um, some individual chasing others. And they can't really handle themselves. And it's bad when you can't even freaking support 
your own weight because you just, you, you've been eating like crazy. You don't take care of yourself. You've been drinking and all that. And a lot of people, that's their escape, you know, drinking. But there's all the things that you could do, you know. When you invest in yourself, you pretty much, all you have to do is just keep your mind busy. Like what I'm doing right now, I'm keeping my mind busy just by doing this and telling you what to do. Because some people don't even have escape. They go to, they go to work, they come back home, and that's it. They watch TV, they drink, and that's how they spend their time. And there's a lot of good things that you could do with your life, especially if you are law enforcement. You know, you could ride a bike, you could play sport, you could go out there and run, you could play some music, you could learn how to play some instrument, you could read. You could do a lot of things with your life. It's not always cap mode or law enforcement mode. You got to go out there and explore and do all the things, you know? So when it comes to investing in yourself, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what it means. Invest in yourself. Do things that, you know, you get some sort of satisfaction and you don't have to think about the things that you have to see on the, on the job because that's the point, you know? Invest in yourself. <laughs> And I keep, I keep repeating myself. You have to invest in yourself. Read, go to the gym, do something, exercise, play some sport, go kick backs and just karate, something. But invest in yourself because at the end of the day, it's not going to be for anybody else but for you. And you're the only one that's going to take full advantage of whatever it is that you're going to invest in you. Whether it's your appearance, whether it's so knowledge, some skill, something, but just do it, just do it. And you know, have fun with it. It's not like you're gonna go out there and do something because you're supposed to or because you have to, no. Have a purpose on it, you know? Why are you doing it? Why, why, what motiv motivate you to do it? Why are you doing it? What, what kind of um, satisfaction could bring to your life, you know? and things like that. So invest in you and you're gonna be happy about it. You know what I'm saying? Learn something, do something. It's not always have to be law enforcement mode and um, um, all the things that we all know, just especially the drinking, drinking. Drinking is not bad for those who love it. It's not good for those who hate it. But I would say that there's a, there's, there's a lot of other things that you could do with your life beside the job. In the job, the number one is your, your appearance. You know, how you look, how you carry yourself, how you handle yourself, how you, how you talk to people, how you how, the way you're listening to, to others and stuff like that. And accept criticism because that's normal. You know, whether it's good or bad, they will add up. The only thing that could harm you is the only are the things that you allow to go into you, into yourself. Those are the only things that could harm you when it comes to people talking. So invest in yourself and hopefully you get something out of it. And, you know, stay tuned for more. One under. <laughs>